Welcome everyone, Mike Rubin with 6.5 Media, back for more on the personal side of AI. Let's start with the foundation of the personal AI platform, the personal language model or the PLM. What makes it personal? Taking the collective knowledge and comprehension of a large language model and continuously infusing it with your own knowledge, activities, and every aspect of your unique persona. Once you do this, your AI will know everything about you and will be capable of emulating the way you think, emote, and interact. If you take a pause and really think about that, the implications for your personal language model are even more severe when it comes to privacy, security, and sovereignty than anything we've seen in the internet era. So where will that start? With the right LLM variant as the building block. There's lots of activity in this space from both the big guys like OpenAI, Google, Meta, all the way down to community developed offerings. So what considerations will be important in discerning the winners for a personal LLM? Well, there's three main considerations. One, it needs to be purpose-built to run locally with minimal resource requirements taken up on your devices. Two, it needs to be multimodal. It needs to have the capabilities to ingest and comprehend the world in the very natural way that you do with your very own senses. And three, it needs to be open source. And that's for trust, transparency, Transparency and community sustainability. Currently, there are really three standouts in this area when they're parsed against those considerations. One, Meta's Llama 3.2 vision model. Two, Google Gemma's 3N, also a multimodal model. And the final one is OpenBMB's mini CPM V. Each one has its pros and cons, but to boil it down, Llama has the most adoption given its early entrance. Gemma is the most multimodal. It's capable and efficient by adding both audio and video to text and image processing. And mini CPM is building a strong niche support with an active participation by community. But it is important to note, it is centrally developed by a Chinese startup with government backing. Join me next time to explore how the generic base layer will be modified to become your private and sovereign personal language model.